Hi, Matty. Hi, Eitan. Nice to see you. Mm, nice to see you again. We're going to tell the story of a, a boy that we worked with in Germany. Um, 13 year old boy, his diagnosis is cerebral palsy. Uh, we both worked with him over the course of a week, and there was one session where Eitan came and joined, and the three of us wound up doing a session together. And it was um, very memorable, and uh, we want to tell a story. Yeah. So up to this moment, we, we both, as you said, worked with him uh, alternately throughout the week. And we, we could also already see that he's changing. He, he wasn't using his, uh, his arm for leaning, right? He was yeah. always his left arm. Yeah. And, but throughout the week, it, it turned out that we actually chose similar things to work with him because it was a, a lot about pushing. But at the beginning of the week, it was him lying down, pushing with his uh, right arm all the time. And then I used it for variation. And I know you did something around that also. I, I have to say with an asterisk that this, uh, this uh, session wouldn't have been working if he didn't accept it. And actually, he saw the humor right away. And it felt like he's actually really into it. When I sat there and said, oh, I have like two grown-up adults, males here. Let's bond because that's what we did, actually. And he took it like, joyfully right he started orchestrating i i don't i didn't know what's gonna happen i don't know that you did but we started by just coordinating ourselves with his movement and thinking right. about the skeleton right. but he took he took actually the lead and started moving us and shaping our bodies and moving it in space and actually i thought about the agency mm -hmm. him being the the choreographer his movement and the shifting to lean on the left side mm -hmm. started already to occur during the week. So I wanted this indirectly to happen because, you know, using his enthusiasm, his, uh, his uh, agency, his autonomy, and it felt so interesting. It was very improvised and very responsive and dynamic. And um, it was amazing to see how much in that environment he just really like took it and ran with it and he just was super engaged and very and very humorous in his his ideas and kind of composing and creating and uh beautiful to see how much his personality came out and how much like the boy the 13 year old boy who wants to be silly and be physical cheeky. and cheeky and all this like that really came out. In the, and I think there's something about the attuned uh, physicality of, the, yeah. of, of you and I being there with him and him kind of getting it right away, like um, that, that it was a place where he could yeah. express and himself. That, yeah, understanding the humor is really important in learning, right? In, in the intelligence and in development. Yeah. Within that, there were so many moments where I felt either you or I like introducing some, some element, some uh, clarity of some part of his, how he could use his spine or lean mm -hmm. to the left side, like you were saying, um, and, and the connection between his legs and his, his pelvis, bringing something new in, yeah. but it was also in the container of him being... He's, he's playing. Yeah, yeah, it was like his, it was his, play, his right? show, basically. He was lifting yeah. my leg and move it, and I'm holding him in another place, but he, lifting my, he was lifting my leg and move it to one side of the table. Then I let it drop, then I changed. After a while, I started, you know, building on his expectation for something, of something to happen, surprising, and then bring the leg back. So, and I, I just now remember that I had something else in the back of my mind. Not right away, but maybe intuitively. I thought about this, that, you know, when you're spastic and you have intention, you get more spastic usually. He could do that, you know, spasticity almost gone, main part of it, for him to be able to use that. But he could also maintain during his play being excited, mm -hmm. usually heightening the spasticity, as I know, 
and being intent, I don't know if that's the right way, but he has kept his having intention, intention, yeah. having intention to do something and still do it without being more spastic, but less spastic, right. which I think it's an important goal, having the ability to be less spastic while you have an intention to do something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and keep that's at it and being excited and enthusiastic and not getting spastic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, at, the, at the end, he was sitting so upright, beginning to find the feeling of coming onto his feet and a little bit towards standing. And the, um, the next lesson that I had with him, it was like right away, he was leaning on his left arm so yeah. clearly. And so like was, instead of his arm being like this, which it, it gradually had had become more available to him, but to see him like put it down on the edge of the table and lean his weight on it on his own without any prompting, without any guidance, you know that was remarkable. And then, yeah. and then gradually over the next lesson or two, we were playing with this kind of pushing and this kind of roughhousing a little bit, which really came mm -hmm. out of the session that we had together and um, his, I think his enjoyment of that and, and loving the medium. And he started leaning on his left hand to push with his right hand with me. And, and, then, and then gradually I shifted my weight and he shifted his weight over and he wound up leaning on his right hand and pushing me with his left hand and um, just laughing so fully and like this kind of full body hilarity laughter while he's pushing through the arm that's usually like this yeah and feeling the palm and the wrist and the strength of the the force going through um it was really uh beautiful and uh, and it, we we talked to his mom also about scoliosis because she mentioned or she asked about how to help him because um, he's starting to develop a scoliosis. And this, for us, this way of feeling how he can lean, how he can use uh, and, and have the, the feeling of pleasure, of interest and desire to, to, to use both sides of himself in more varied ways and more symmetrical ways is beautiful for uh, helping him to to develop and uh, grow in a in more symmetrical way. Yeah, and and would be really interesting to see him when we when we come again when we go again to uh, Germany in October. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be a lot uh, that we're going to see. Already, uh, I, I think I told I told you that before uh, in the workshop. I saw him engaging with his mother differently. He looked more like the thirteen year old. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw a moment where she tried to convince him, you know, gently to do something. And he said, no. And then he said, no. And it was really, no, not shouting, but really clear. And I felt, oh, this is interesting. It looks like more of an agency, you know, more of a, you know, I know what I want or what I, what I don't want. So it's connected. Absolutely. Um, yeah. It was nice. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Really fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Bye, Matty. Thank Bye, you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay.